Greetings, beautiful earthlings. This one is actually just meant to be a quick one for you guys. This is really weird that this has been kind of nagging me today. Um, but as you guys know, I have been doing a lot more outreach and work with Mother Goddess Aset. So she wanted me to do a quick impromptu reading for anyone who might feel drawn to click on this video seeking any type of guidance right now. Um, so I'm not sure like the intentions of this reading or anything to be completely honest. She's just been really bugging me all morning like you need to do a reading you need to do a reading you need to do a reading collective reading collective reading so that's what we're going to do today i do have um the white newman with me as well as the golden constellations oracle and what she likes to do is actually read from the book um the messages that those cards have right now that's kind of the way that we're working with those so uh, if you guys like those quick fix type of videos, this might not be for you. I would suggest like setting this on in the background, just listening to the guidance. You don't need to see my face or the cards for any reason. Um, but we do also have the Isis Oracle as well as the Angel Prayers Oracle just for any type of messages that may come through. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started, friends. Ooh. All right, Mother Goddess, what messages do we have for the collective? Whoa, whoa, okay, geez. I'm going to put these ones back. Okay, and more... <laughs> any more for the collective please this has been happening to me a lot lately whenever I get a reading for someone there's like a thousand cards that go out and it's like okay apparently we're not doing enough readings for ourselves lately okay but what I'm getting a general feeling of here just looking at these first two cards which is the nine of cups and the ace of swords oh okay is um a a new start here it seems like we're putting an effort to uh, chase our fulfillment right be fulfilled within ourselves uh, seeking clarity truth and uh, learning to use our voice as well and then with the white newman this is a card of like creation as well so then we've got the hanged man here at the bottom so i do feel like uh, there might be still a type of imposed pause here uh, for the general masses and that a lot of us are trying to find a way to work with that imposed pause um, i am feeling like i do need another one though do you want me to keep shuffling okay I feel like the white Newman was kind of just like a cheeky addition. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was feeling there. It seems like we're doing this out of a place of hurt. Okay, so I have been uh, kind of meditating on this because I've been getting like a big sense of this as well myself lately. So um, it seems like in trying to heal past wounds and trying to pursue our our dreams, our fulfillment, our healing, things like that. It seems like we're kind of using this um, this hurt as a fire under our butt right now to keep going. So she wants me to read for you guys the White Newman card. She says we don't have to read all of these. Um, so news to me, I was prepared to read all of them. <laughs> but this White Newman, I think, was a card of creation, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so... It says creation starting point and divine inspiration so the gods father run free across the virgin earth's plains in apparent weightlessness just like the bison in ancient cave paintings it traverses the world making sure that all of creation is in order above him dimensions open and the power of the sun glows between his horns the bronze stars and the bird guide him as the morning breaks the white newman symbolizes creation through action the perfect and divinely inspired path result from the movement and momentum act innovate and make the world anew so that is <laughs> i'm getting messages that is really the overall sense that i was getting here with the nine of cups and the ace of swords it's just trying to tell us that we've we've got something we're supposed to be doing i have also been getting this myself a lot lately um kind of like i'm trying to be still and 
do mindless things and I keep getting like reminders like you've got a bigger purpose you're doing more things you should be doing your work so I feel like this is kind of what this reading was it was just a way to tell you like um there are things you're working on, there's things that you're working toward, and doing mindless things are not going to help you on that journey. And um, we still have a bit of healing to undergo. We still have things that we're trying to um, cut off in a sense and trying to like heal for ourselves. So there's that Queen of Pentacles. Look at that beautiful, nurturing mother. Um, I get with the queen of pentacles i always get kind of like empress energy as well like very fruitful anything new touch is just kind of turning to gold you're just creating your world anew and that's just really the sense that we're getting here overall um so then after these you have the four of wands and the hermit so i do have this feeling as well that this was meant to be a twin flame reading i have been getting bothered about doing twin flame readings lately as well and i kind of just don't have the extra energy to put into that at the moment but um, they are saying that this is also about um, working, how do I put this? Working on introspection within the home, within your family life, within, you know, could be marriages, could be relationships, things like that, could be partnerships, and, you know, just expansion and trying to find a way to make your everyday life and where you're at a little bit more enjoyable um, not only for you but for all involved <laughs> there's that hanged man again that's really funny okay so I'm gonna give these one last shuffle and draw because that was very interesting how those came out let's see do we have any final messages from the tarot please mother goddess <laughs> yeah my, my baby child's in here with me any further messages? Thank you. Look at that, you guys. You can't make this stuff up. That's inspiration, my friends. That's beautiful creation, firepower. I love that. I love when you get the Ace of Wands. And then with the Seven of Wands, it looks like we've got some, um, like, maintaining control. Um, something about, yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, a pissing contest to be quite frank but it seems like that's just kind of um okay I'm sorry I'm going off on like six trains of thoughts at once so this here is meant to be a distraction it's meant to be something for you to learn from and this could be not only with someone that you are in close quarters with could be like a boss could be a partner um, it could also be a past relationship could be anything from the past to be completely honest so that you know is a huge huge umbrella term could be anybody from your past that you've just recently reconnected with and it seems like um slow moving partnership yeah you guys are trying to figure out how to work together it seems like it's causing distraction um but it's spirit is still reminding you that you still have this this firepower here at your hands so whatever it is that's going on that's distracting you um that you feel is taking up too much energy in a negative capacity uh, just understand that you do still have the tools at your disposal to keep working within your means just remember to stay positive and manifest as if you already had the thing uh, so whether that be you know a new job a new house a new whatever 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 you're trying to manifest make sure that you use the language of the universe of speaking as if you already have it being grateful for already having it things like that be sure not to use your language of the law of attraction in the wrong way and push it further away from you because now is the perfect time for you guys to manifest you have the energies available at your disposal it seems like we've already been doing this um in this 
this time period, this is something a lot of people have been building up towards. I know you guys see it all around. Everybody's reopening their Etsy shops and reopening their shops and dropping new things and you know all these projects everybody's been working on because everybody needed um, some type of creative outlet in this time of like isolation and quarantine. And this was you know a divine gift for everybody to be able to utilize to go forth and actually work on your goals and work on your healing and work on things. Uh, this, I, I do like to say that it was an imposed quarantine on purpose. Um, clearly, it wasn't in the third dimension, but, you know, things work differently in the astral realm. So, for the Ace of Wands, it says the tribe together grasps towards the wands of fire and all of the creative, empowering, and destructive ways it will affect their lives. An expression of primal will start at the end, will at the start, what? An expression of primal will at the start of the endeavor. Sorry about that. I read that funny. So the tribe together grasp towards the wands of fire and all the creative, empowering, and destructive ways it will affect their lives. So this is, um, to me, saying as a collective, we can either work to empower each other, work to do things for the betterment of our society, work to... You know look at the ways that we've done wrong in the past and work together to heal those wounds of our ancestors and move forward in a better light as you guys can see a lot of the younger generation do a lot of that already uh, with trying to help us reword and rethink and reevaluate things and i feel like that's kind of um going to be a big theme going forward uh, it just really feels like there's like this big mental shift in the collective consciousness of how it is that we are per perceiving our fellow man and how it is that we need to start working together for um, just better reasons you know so let me go ahead and get some oracle guidance here we are going to grab hopefully one from the golden constellations but you guys know how that works sometimes we get 40 so um i have also in meditation been getting this sense of um uh i forgot what i was going to say because my crows just started going off over here so i'm just going to pull some cards <laughs> maybe i'll get back to what i was saying Okay, any further guidance, please, Mother Goddess? Okay, this one. Berenice's hair and the southern crown. Okay, let's see what these guys have to say. These are short readings, by the way, for these ones. I know when you see someone pull out a book, it never feels like a good thing. Okay, so Bernice's hair. Bernice holds the fire. Can you see that? Holds both fire and votive offerings in her hands. Beware not to offset the good acts with the acts of haste. And the southern crown. Crowned by laurels and garnered in stars, here is a time of recognition for success. However, beware that flattery does not blind you. Loud airplane. Okay, so hopefully we can get an angel message here that's going to help kind of tie all of this together. Um, I do see reflections of the things that I have been getting in meditation all over this, um, but I'm not quite sure how it ties into the immediacy of the reading. <laughs> okay, help me out here, Mother Goddess. What am I missing in this reading? Okay. I get you. Um, she says there is a feeling sweeping through the collective of like a panicked hopelessness for some reason. And she just wanted to let us know like 
we have everything that we need. There's no reason to let things of the third dimension throw us off track. And, you know, don't, don't let your successes get to your head because successes are steps on a ladder for where you're going. If you're on the spiritual journey, if you're on the awakening journey, um, just remember, like, successes are great to accomplish and to celebrate, but don't get a big head about them. Don't let them get to your head. You have to remember that that's just one step you've taken in an endless journey. Um, and that, you know, moving forward is still forward progress, as slow as it may be, but you have to keep working at it. You have to keep it up every single day, every day, every week, every month. You can't just do the work for a little bit of time and take a break because you think that you've gotten to a good place because you're only setting yourself backwards. Okay. I got you, Mother Goddess. Thank you. Do we have any cards from this oracle that you would like to give to the collective before we close it up with an angel prayer, please? Okay. <laughs> She's at bottom of the deck, so that one says divine sisterhood, community of the spiritual sisters and brothers of light. There is an overarching theme here of community and collective and uh, needing to reach out and help each other. So I hope that helps some of you. I know that a lot of us are in a place of isolation and are trying to figure out how to do this kind of outreach. Um, so, in community that is based in equality, respect, healthy boundaries, and personal freedom with a mutual desire for spiritual growth and honoring of innate wisdom, great miracles occur. You are a part of this community of light. At one time, it existed only in the spiritual world, yet now it is being born on the earth. It is a part of your destiny to help create and nurture a conscious community that empowers all of its members and is based in truth. So, um, the message I kind of get from that is, you know, combat. I, I don't like to say this because I feel kind of alone in this, within this community, um, as a light worker sometimes, because we're kind of entangled within the witches community and everybody's community. So, um, I do feel kind of alone in being a light worker, but what the sense that I'm getting from this is that we have to remember as light workers, we're here to um, reawaken the collective to spreading light and love and gratitude and helping each other, you know, through empowerment and this awakening process because it's not easy and a lot of us at times will get deterred and especially if you feel called as like me called as a light worker in such communities like a witch's community or um you know mystic communities <laughs> so it's just important to kind of um remember who you are like remember why you're doing this remember your roots geez i can't shuffle today remember your roots you know don't let don't let the others around you cloud your perception of who you are because that happens to me often and I have to keep being reminded of who it is I work with and why it is I work with them and what it is I'm supposed to be doing within the community. Um, I do get a little deterred from my work sometimes because of like all of the d all of the darkness in the community if that makes sense there's a lot of like chaos magic and dark magic and things like that and it makes me feel like i have no place where i am but i do remember like i'm put here for a specific reason as well um so that's just, just me personally just rambling on what it is i just heard um i don't know how that resonates for any of you guys i don't know if any of you guys have been feeling like a little misplaced lately um I know that sometimes like 
being white witches or Christian witches or things like that don't really set well with the rest of the community. You do feel a little like hushed and a little kind of put off to the side and things like that. So um, I have been feeling... Hi, Nene. I have been feeling lately like I did kind of need to make make it a point to say like you are valid you know in whatever it is you're practicing and whoever it is you're working with and just because we see so much of the darker side of magic doesn't mean that light magic doesn't exist you know and feel free to work with whoever you work with whether it be you know god or the angels or um older deities or you know other, i meant other deities excuse me and um dark magic, light magic, whatever it is, you know, do your thing, but don't ever let anybody step on your beliefs or make you feel like what you're doing isn't valid or what you're doing isn't right in the community and that you're supposed to be following a certain type of template for what kind of person you should be, okay? That goes within all communities, not just within the witch community, so... I have been really feeling that heavily on me lately and I feel like the reason I've been feeling that heavily lately is because I'm supposed to make a stand to make a statement and say something about it and it's just it's a little nerve-wracking saying things like that in such a big community of people that are quite the opposite of myself so let's see do we have any final angel messages thank you Oh, okay, so this one here says, don't hate, meditate. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through love and meditation. So like I said, sometimes I do feel like I am a little out of place and just, you know, setting the scene and meditating and talking with my guides will often reset that, you know, all of these feelings, all of these things do come from the third dimension and these things are imposed on you as a type of um, complication for you to learn to work through and grow through. So just remember that, you know, everything has a purpose in your life. Everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. So the other one we have here at the bottom of the deck is trustworthy friends. This one says, thank you angels for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. So I think the message we're getting here today overall, my friends, is reach out to your friends if you haven't in a while. Um, Work on finding your soul tribe. Work on finding people that make you feel comfortable with who you are. And, you know, always, always, always reach out even when you feel like you can't or you shouldn't or whatever. Because, you know, we're humans. We get lonely. We feel the need to reach out to people at times and we feel the need to do things like this and let other people know that, you know, you're not alone. You're you're here with me I'm here with you we are here together you know we're in this craziness called life together so um, feel free to drop some inspirational love to your fellow earthlings in the comments my friends that would be super fantastic because I'm sure we are all going through some type of rough patch at the moment I know I have been feeling uh, some type of way so I really hope that you guys can help lift each other up and encourage each other in the comments and know that whatever comment you feel intuitively led to put down there that the right person will see it at the right time when they need to see it okay so um, I do feel like this message was intended for this specific time but I don't feel like there is a time frame on it so um, for anybody who comes across this message in the future I feel like you might still have some messages um, fall out here and there for you uh, if you are stumbling on this at some point in time that wasn't when I posted it so I hope that that helped you guys that was super random I know I don't really get called to do readings like that much like impromptu readings um, I do I just don't usually do it because it takes a whole lot of setting up and things like that so I hope that this resonated for you guys I hope you found some substance here I hope that you guys send each other love in the comments and I hope that wherever you are when this video reaches you my friends you have a beautiful wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Namaste.